The world went nuts this week after our interview with Beyonce last Sunday led to fevered speculation about her baby bump and whether she was faking her pregnancy. At Sunday night, it consumed us day and night. So we went back and analysed the tapes, every shot, every angle, frame by frame, to bring you the truth, the whole truth, about Bumgate. Our interview with Beyonce was destined to be revealing. How are you doing? I'm good. But what this moment exposed to some even caught us by surprise. Here it is again, slowed down. As Beyonce sits down with Molly Meldrum, her dress folds. That crease caused a worldwide controversy. <laughs> wondering if Beyonce is faking her baby bump after the singer appeared on an Australian TV show. Bumpgate went viral. Sources are saying that she is straight up faking her pregnancy. Beyonce just can't put her feet up and enjoy being pregnant. Some people are actually accusing her of wearing a fake baby bump. A conspiracy to rival JFK and the grassy knoll. Others are saying she's using a surrogate because she didn't want to put her body through the stress. So, like the Zapruder film, we went through the unseen footage, frame by frame. I cannot miss it. Before the interview, Beyonce is fitted with a microphone. And then, from another angle, as she goes to her seat, a makeup artist blocks our view. But then there's this angle from the side. As Beyonce sits down, there's no sign of any straps that could hold padding in place. But for us, the biggest clue that she is expecting is this. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. I got a shock as much as anyone else. <laughs> uh, and you're glowing. Thank you. Thank um, you. It's a mother's said, joy yeah, you just can't it's fake. Beyond, if it's any time, right now is the time. And I'm so happy well, and you, I feel... <laughs> so there you are, settled, finished, over. <laughs> And our Twitter community had plenty of suggestions for a name for Beyonce's baby. Destiny was the favourite if it's a girl, followed by Sasha and Scarlett. There weren't as many boys' names. Jackson, a very definite Aussie influence with Bazza. And one viewer came up with Crazy.